Praise the Lord! It's a great day and we are happy. Nakasama namin kayo. Thank you for being with us. Please stay and we believe that God has a covenant. Mas alam natin itong may kontrata ang Diyos para sa iyo. Amen? But remember, sa bawat kontrata, may dalawang parte yan. God has a part and you have a part. And when you are expecting from God about His promises, the big question is, are you doing your part? Amen? Our topic for today is God's unfailing covenant. This is Pastor Jay Desuelo greeting you a blessed day. Purihin ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. God's promises are always true. Totoo ang pangako ng Diyos. Amen. At ang bawat pangako ng Diyos ay isang kontrata. Amen. Kung maunawaan yung isang kontrata, amen, pag sabi natin kontrata, this is something to do. It cannot be nullified. Amen. Alam nyo, sitwasyon, sa buhay natin na dumaraan, cannot touch God's covenant sa buhay natin. No matter what happened, no matter what environment, God's covenant will not change. Because God is a God that does change. Amen? Ang mabuting balita dito, mga kapatid ko sa Panginoon, that God has a covenant for you. Meron kontrata ang Diyos sa buhay mo. May pangako ang Diyos sa buhay mo. At ang kontrata na yan ay irrevocable. Na yung ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng pa walang bisa. You may say, Pastor, ba't hindi ko nararanasan ngayon yung mga bagay na pinangako ng Diyos? May kontrata pa lang Diyos sa akin, ba't hindi ko nararanasan? You may, probably, there's some reasons you're not doing your part, or probably, nararanasan mo na because you don't know it. Kala mo lang, coincidence, it's just part of our daily circumstances. Pero kasama na pala, kumikilos sa pala ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Amen? You can expect God. Tandaan niyo po to will always do His promise. Tutupad palagi ang Diyos sa kanya. Paano sinabi niya eh? Sabi niya ni Scripture, Does God determine to show more abundantly to the hearers of promise, the immutability of His counsel, confirmed it by an oath, and that, that by two immutable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie. Impossible sa Diyos magsinungaling. We might have a strong consolation who had fled for refuge, to lay hold of the hope set before us. Sabi ng Hebrew chapter 6, verse 17 and 18. It's clear. If God cannot lie, all His promises to us will come true. All those promises are going to happen. Amen? So it sounds good to be true. But that is the truth. Amen? Pinangako ng Diyos yan. Tuto pa rin ang Panginoon yan. Katulad ang sinabi ng Panginoon, there's the word, God's word to Adam, stand, despite na, di ba, nangako ang Diyos kay Adal. May sa paumpisa pa lang. Pero, despite the entrance of sin, those things never change. Katulad ang sinabi ng Diyos kay Adam, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Sabi ng Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Okay, nung si Adal at si Eva ay nagkasala, amen, God raised another person with that same covenant, with that same promise. Amen? Katulad ng sinabi niya kay Noah, pansin niyo yung sinabi ng Diyos kay Adan, pansin niyo yung sinabi ng Diyos kay Noah. Okay? Bag nung after the flood that destroyed the earth, sinabi ng Diyos kay Noah, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth. Genesis chapter 9, verse 2. If you notice, it's the same. The promise of God to Adam is the same with promise Noah. The word God has spoken, okay, sa dalawang taong yan, is the same. It does not change. Kaya pa sininyo, God's covenant, yung kontrata ng Diyos sa atin, yung pangako ng Diyos sa atin, never change. His words always stand. Amen? It does not depend on people or situation. When God said it, it always be. Amen? He confirms His covenant. After many years, pa sininyo itong kwento to, God called a man. Ang pangalan naman yun ay Abraham. O mas kilala niyo siya sa Abraham. And God said to him, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you contempt. And all the families on the earth will be blessed through you. Sabi ng Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 3. So God gave, amen, pasinin yung pangako ng Panginoon kay Abraham. Okay? When God gave Abraham a son, Amen? He was Isaac. Amen? And God, God 
gave that same promise to Isaac. Sabi ng Panginoon, do not be afraid for I am with you and I will bless you and I will multiply your descendants and they will become a great nation. I will do this because my promise to Abraham, my servant. Genesis chapter 26 verse 24. Nung si Isaac ay nagkaanak naman, amen? Pinangalanan ng Jacob, amen? And And uh, when Isaac spoke a prophetic blessing to Jacob, he said, All who curse you will be cursed, and all who bless you will be blessed. Genesis chapter 27, verse 29. Pasin ninyo, what I'm pointing is, the covenant never changed. It's still, and it will take effect to them, Amen. especially to us, to those who are in Christ. Bakit kayo nagtatanong, Pastor, anong kinalaman ko doon sa pangako ng Diyos kay Abraham? Amen. Amen. Anong relasyon ko doon? sa God's covenant to Abraham, sa atin. If you don't know, God's covenant to Abraham is also a covenant to us. Yung kontrata ng Diyos kay Abraham ay kontrata rin ng Diyos sa atin. Sabi ng Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. Sabi ng Scripture, Through Christ Jesus, God has blessed the Gentiles, tayo yon with the same blessing He promised to Abraham. Grabe, yung pangako ng pagpapala kay Adan, kay, uh, kay Abraham ay the same promise din ng Panginoon para sa atin. If you if, if you if you go on forward sa verse 28 and 29, sabi, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And now that you belong to Christ, you are true children of Abraham. You are his heirs and God's promise to Abraham belong to you. Oh, grabe 'yon, 'di ba? Ang ganda. Sabi ng Panginoon doon, kung kayo na kay Kristo, lahat ng pinangako ng Diyos kay Abraham ay sa atin na. So, whoever is, is in Christ has the covenant of Abraham working in him. Amen? Not only in his son Isaac, o hindi lang kay grandson niya, kay Jacob, but all those who are in Christ Jesus will experience the same blessing, the same contract, the same covenant God has said to Abraham. And that blessing flows to us sa biyaya ng Diyos because of Jesus. Hallelujah! Jesus is the connecting point of the covenant and without Him, wala tayong kabuluhan. Kaya, what are the covenant of God to Abraham? Yan ang aralin natin. Ano ba yung mga covenant ng Diyos kay Abraham? That we have today. Amen? Kasi covenant ni Abraham, nasa atin din yan. Kaya ano ba yun? Okay. So let us now read our scripture in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 3. Okay? Basahin natin to. Sinabi ni Yahweh kay Abraham, linas, lisanin mo ang iyong bayan, ang tahanan ng iyong ama at mga kamag-anak at pumunta ka sa bayan ituturo ko sa iyo. Para ramihin ko ang iyong mga anak at apo at gagawin ko silang isang malaking bansa. Pagpapalain kita at gagawin kong dakila ang iyong gapangalan. At ikaw ay magiging pagpapala sa marami. Take note of that, no? Verse 3. Ang inyong pagpap... Ang sa'yo ay magpapala ay aking pagpapalain. At ang, ang sa'yo sumumpa ay aking susumpain. Sa pamamagitan mo, lahat ng bansa sa daigdig ay aking pagpapalain. Thank you, aming Ama. Salamat po, Lord. At mo, Lord God, na maranasan namin ang bawat pangako mo sa buhay namin dahil kami na kay Kristo. Lord Jesus, be with us, Holy Spirit. Samahan mo kami that we may realize, Lord God, that there's so much in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alam niyo po, God has a contract with you. He has a covenant with you. And today we will learn the covenant of God to Abraham that we have today in Christ. Amen. Number one covenant. It is the covenant of blessing. That's a contract that God said that He will bless us. Katulad ang sinabi ng Diyos kaya I will make you into a great nation. Wow! I will bless you and make you famous and you will be a blessing to others. Genesis chapter 12 verse 2. May kontrata ang Diyos na ikay pagpalain. Amen? 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 God has a covenant of blessing to us. Same, God has a covenant of blessing to Abraham and to us who are in Christ. Praise God. Kaya nga, if you, may, uh, if you will ask me, 
Okay? What makes a different if I am in the covenant of blessing? Pastor, anong pinagkaiba ko nandun ako sa covenant of blessing? It just means wherever you are, and no matter what you're doing, amen, what, no matter what is happening right now in this world, even in the midst of the problem, amen, the blessing of God is working in you. Hallelujah! So you can prosper in the midst of your darkest situation. Hallelujah! Because the blessing is at work. You are in Christ, amen, you are in the covenant, and the blessing is working because there's a covenant and the blessing. May kontrata ng pagpapalang Diyos. Sabay, for isa, balikan natin si Abraham. Okay. Nung si Abraham ay nakaranas ng severe famine. So, ibig sabihin, even though you're in the contract, you are not exempted on the things that are happening. Okay, pero may kakaiba. Okay, nagkaroon nga ng severe famine sa lugar na pinaglagyan ng Diyos. Amen? Na tinawag si, Ad, si Abraham. And Abraham was forced to go down to Egypt. Even it was not the way it should be because he experienced problems, napunta siya sa Egypt. Pero despite those things, okay, pasinin niyo to, nung siya'y bumalik na, sabi ni Scripture, amen, when he returned to God's promised land, he was rich with everything. Sabi ng Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, Abraham was very rich in livestock, Silver and gold. Hallelujah, kita nyo. Abraham prospered in the midst of famine. Yun. Yes, hindi nga tayo may mga nangyayari sa mundo. Hindi nga natin tayo exempted yun. Pero ang pagpapala ng Diyos makes us excel. Amen? Amen? Iaangat tayo niya sa gitna ng kaguluhan. Kaya sa buhay natin ito, when you are experienced great trouble today, God is reminding you, my son, my child, you are in the covenant of blessing. Nasa tipanan ka ng pagpapala ng Diyos. So, no matter what is happening to you today, I mean, the covenant, yung kontrata na yan is at work because you are in Christ. I mean, it will move you to the place God wants you to be, prosperous and blessed. Kaya ano mang kalagayan mo ngayon, I mean, tatanda mo, I mean, pinagpala ka, at may tipan ng Diyos ng pagpapala sa buhay mo. Remember, yung covenant na sinasabi ko niyo was ratified, inapprove yan. Sa pamamagitan na ng ano, when Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Amen? Binayaran ng kontrata na yan ng dugo ni Kristo. Kaya when you look, eh, pagkulinan nyo, when the Lord took the last supper, pasin niyo, kinuha niya yung cup of wine and He said to His disciples, each of you drink from it, for this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and His people. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Matthew 26, verse 27 and 28. It just means the blood of Jesus on the cross confirms the covenant of blessing. Amen? It confirms, it approves. Amen? Amen? And it is implemented and working in us today. Hallelujah! So, katulad ng sinabi ni Paul, you know the gracious grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though He was rich, yet for your sake He became poor, so that by His poverty, He could make you rich. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Kaya nga, always stand in the blessing. No matter what situation na kinalalagyan mo ngayon, mong sinasabing kawawa ka naman. Claim that covenant. Claim that contract. Amen. Amen. It was been ratified by the blood of Jesus and it is working with you. Claim it. And so that you may experience it. Kaya pag sa panahon na wala kang pera, Lord, di ba may kontrata ka ng pagpapala? Na kay Kristo, ko may kontrata ng pagpapala and I receive that, Lord, it will happen. Yeah. Katulad din na nangyari kay Isaac. Okay, not only Abraham. Sa anak na to, ha? Isaac. Nakaranas din ng famine. Amen? In the, but in the midst of famine, okay? Sabi nga ng scripture, a severe famine, okay? Struck the land. Like had happened before in Abraham's time. When Isaac planted his crop that year, he harvested hundred times more grain that he planted for the Lord blessing. He became very rich man and his wealth continues to grow. Genesis chapter 26 verse 1, verse 12 to 13. Amen? Kaya pa sinin nyo, 
hindi nagbabago ang pangako ng Diyos. Tinamaan din ang lugar ni Saak ng kahirapan, tagutong. Pero dahil may kontrata ang Diyos, may tipana ng Diyos ng pagpapala, pagpasin ninyo, sa gitna ng tagutong, nakaani ng sobrang dami si, uh, si Isaac at siya ay sumagana sa panahon ng kahirapan. Hallelujah! Kaya nga, anumang sitwasyon na kinalalagyan mo, it will not change the contract God has given to us. It will not change the covenant. The covenant will change the situation. That's the truth. Yung kontrata ng Diyos sa buhay natin sa pamamagitan ni Kristo Yesus ang babago do sa sitwasyon. Because God has promised to bless us so no matter what happened, the blessing was at work. Katulad na nangyari kay Abraham, kay Isaac, sa kitna ng ka-famine, sa kitna ng kahirapan, sila'y pinagpala, ganun din tayo. Sa kabila ng mga pagsubok, kabila ng mga problema at kahirapan, we will excel and we will be blessed because there's a contract of blessing. Kaya nga, ano mang kahirapan yan, could that stand in the word of God. Hallelujah! Kaya nga, no famine, no trouble, no problem could stand in the covenant of blessing sa kontrata ng pagpapala ng Diyos sa pamagitan ni Jesus sa buhay mo. Kaya, all we expect, kahit sa tingin mo parang imposible, remember this, you will prosper and live your life on earth bless like heaven here on earth. Hallelujah! Do you receive it today? In Jesus' name, this first covenant, the covenant of blessing. In second covenant, God has poured in us, okay, is the covenant of protection. Merong kontrata ng pag-iingat ang Diyos sa buhay na. I'm sure you know that we are living right now in a dangerous day. Okay, medyo mahirap ang panahon ngayon. Pagpapanoorin yung TV, social media, there are always news of wars. May kaguluhan pala, may gera, terrorist attack, record-breaking disasters, like what happened, yung matinding earthquake. Wow. There are super typhoons. Dati, nung bata lang ako, signal number 2, number 3 lang, ay, may signal number 5 na. Wow. There, there is more violence now than there was before. Pero kung mamumuhay kayo sa natural, maaaring nakakatakot, it may be scary to live. But in the supernatural, amen, it is the most powerful time to live. Why? Amen. Because we have a place of protection in God that will keep us completely safe regardless of what is happening now around us. Kaya kapag kayo nakakaramdam ng mga bagay na alanganin, always the Lord, may tipan ka, may kontrata ka, may covenant ka ng protection, ingatan po ko sa pangalan ni Jesus. Katulad kay Abraham, okay? sabi ng Panginoon, Kay Abraham sa Genesis 12, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. Genesis 12 verse 3. So, God has promised protection. Why you said, Pastor, protection? Sabi niya doon, that He will curse those who will curse us. Hallelujah! Diba? It just means that no curse can touch you. Praise the Lord. Amen? So, no one can curse which God has blessed. Pag ikay pinagpala ng Diyos, walang pwedeng sumumpa. Because God has a promise of protection to us. God can protect us. Amen? Pero minsan, Pastor, bakit parang hindi naman ako napaprotektahan? To make that promise work for us, meron ako sasabihin sa inyo. We need to abide under the shadow of Almighty. Sabi Psalms 91 verse 1. So instead of caving into fear, ibig sabihin mamuhay tayo sa takot, we should stand confidently on God, keep His words, and walk boldly in His covenant of protection. We need to stay in His word, we need to stay in God, and we need to claim that covenant that God will protect us. Amen? Tandaan nyo, it is not God's will for anyone to be left outside His blessing. Amen? Left outside of the protection. Lahat gusto ng Panginoon na ingatan at magpalayan. So, kaya kanya ibinigay ang kanyang bugtong na anak si Jesus. Eh. Kaya kasi sabi ng Galatians 3 verse 13 and 14, But Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law through Christ Jesus. 
God blessed the Gentiles with the same blessing He promised to Abraham. Pansinin nyo, okay? Sa pamagitan ni Jesus, doon natin nararanasan yung paproteksyon at pagpapala. It's clear. So, to walk in the blessing and protection of God, we must first choose Jesus. Kailangan mong piliin si Jesus bilang iyong Panginoon at sariling takapagligtas. Amen? Experience gain God's protection and what God has promised. Tandaan nyo ito, kailangan ng decision. A decision to take Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Once you make Jesus your Savior and Lord, amen, you are redeemed from the curse. Sabi yun ang salita ka ng Galatians eh. And you have been set free from evil things. Every evil things. Bakit? Dahil pinasana ni Jesus yan sa cross. He bore it in the cross. He paid it with His blood. And His life. Kaya nga, remember, mahal ang protection natin. Mahal yung pagpapalag pwede mo maranasan. Bakit binayaran niya ng dugo ni Jesus Christ? Buhay niya ang kapalit para maranasan niyan. He ratified that covenant, that contract by His life, by His blood. Kaya if you are born again, claim it, it's yours. Amen? Amen? But again, I tell you, it's not automatic. It's not automatic. Every covenant, tandaan niyo to, has two sides. Kapag kayo nakipagkontrata kahit dito sa lupa, may sides yan. Okay? Yung kontrata na kabilang parte, amen, and kontrata para sa iyo. Hindi lang isa lang yan. Amen? Meron kayong role. So, tatanan nyo. If, they are, if, if the contract, every contract has two sides, so you have to do. Amen? You have a part to play. Do your part. If you wonder what your part is, Amen? It's not hard to be honest kasi kasi sa mga iniisip na iba. If you make Jesus Lord your savior, you're done with the first important step. Then, what you need to do after accepting Jesus, follow him and walk daily in agreement in his word. Amen. Sumunod kay kay Jesus and mamuhay kay ayon sa kanyang salita. How? How? You believe, you say and you act his words. Politiko, you believe You say and you act his word. Paniwala mo yung sinabi ng Diyos, sabihin mo yung sinabi ng Diyos, gawin mo ang sinabi ng Diyos. In this way, you abide in the shadow of Almighty. Sinasabi Psalms 91 verse 1. And you position yourself for His protection. Okay, remember, your protection depends on the choices you make. Nakabase yan sa pagpili mo. Yes, may kontrata ang Diyos sa'yo. Pero ang tanong, to make that contract, Amen? Happening to you. You should be doing your part. So always choose to be in Jesus and live by His word. And always remember, you are safe under God's wing. Hallelujah! That second covenant of God for us, the covenant of protection. And last, amen, covenant to be a channel of blessing. Amen? Ang sabi ko nga dyan, covenant of blesser. Wala kasi salitang blesser, but It's a covenant of blessing. Amen? To be a channel of blessing. Kaya nga, pasinin nyo, God will bless you more than you can contain. Tanong, Pastor, bakit ako kailangan pagpalain ng Diyos na mas marami pa? So you could be a blessing to others. Amen? Ang tanong, Pastor, how can be a blessing to others? Right now, wala naman akong plera. Wala naman blessing. You can still be a blessing. Amen? Because you are called by God to be a blessing to others. Quote and quote ko na lang, you are called by God to be blesser. Amen? So even you don't have yet, start being a blessing to others in many ways. Yes, you don't have money, sabihin mo na, pero tatanda nyo, you have something, you have something that they don't have. Amen? Meron ka, nawala sila. Make use of what you have to become a blessing to others. Hallelujah! Amen? Sasabi ko sa inyo, bakit nyo hihintayin pa na magkaroon ka para maging pagpapala ka? Start to be a blessing now. Start living in the unfailing covenant ng Diyos. Amen? Kailangan na para mamuhay. Gusto mo ng pagpapala, gusto mo ng protection. Panahon na para mamuhay doon sa covenant ng Diyos. At para maranasan natin yan, we need to be a blessing to others. 
I mean, we live by faith, not by sight. So if you believe that you're under the covenant of blessing, under the covenant of protection, under the covenant of a blesser, live it today. Live it today. Amen? Pamuway mo lang ngayon. Claim it. Amen? By faith. And it shall be done. One day you will see. Amen? You're already living in the fullness of the covenant. Fullness of His promises. Fullness of the contract God has given us. Pasin niyo si Abraham stands and lived to be a blesser. Naging channel siya ng blessing. Kung mapasa yung Genesis chapter 13, nung si Abraham at si Lot naghiwalay sa sobrang dami na kanilang possession, hindi na kaya i-contain ng land. Amen? Para nagkakagulo na rin kasi doon sa kanilang mga herdsmen. Kaya sabi ni Abraham, man, Abraham allowed Lot. Sabi niya ni Abraham kay Lot, piliin mo sa natatanong mo yung gusto mo. Amen? Kung anong piliin mo, yung titira ako. Lord, siyempre, kung ikaw pipili, Lord, choose the best land. Amen? Okay? Pero Abraham, that shows that Abraham was not greedy. Bakit? He knew. He was called by God to become a channel of blessing. So he believed, wherever he will go, kahit na sabi natin, yan ay second best pa. Kami na kinuha na ni Lord yung best at natira sa yung second best. Abraham believed that wherever he go, even if it is not a good land, he will prosper. Because the covenant of blessing and being a channel of blessing was at work in his life. Amen. Praise God. So Abraham, in other words, to make this story short, Abraham prospered in the land where he was. Yung lugar na napili, pinili, na hindi napili, dun siya pinasagan. Amen. Pasinin niyo pa. When Abraham fought against the enemies, nanalo siya. Because he was a blesser. Amen? Binigay niya yung tithes niya kay Haring Melchizedek. Sabi ng scripture, then Abraham gave Melchizedek a tenth of all the good he has recovered. Genesis chapter 14, verse 20. See? Abraham became a channel of blessing. Okay? Then King Sodom, patsin niyo si King Sodom said to Abraham, give back my people who were captured but you may keep for yourself all the goods you have recovered. Pero anong reply ni Abraham? Simply lang. I solemnly swear to God, to the Lord God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth, that I will not take. Amen? Otherwise, you will say, I am the one who made Abraham rich. Genesis chapter 14, verse 22 to 23. Grabe, di ba? Alam ni Abraham kung sino nagpapala sa kanya. Amen? Kaya nga, alam niya rin. Sabi nga niyong hari, di ba? Kunin mo na lahat. Balik mo lang sa akin yung nga dapat ko. Ba't sabi niya, hindi. Sa'yo yan. Amen? At ayaw ko sabihin mo na ang nagpayaman sa akin ay ikaw. Remember, a blesser is a tighter. Amen? A blesser is a giver. Hallelujah. Same thing, ganun din si Isaac. Amen? Yung kanyang anak, nung na-experience siya ng great trouble. Okay? Pagdating sa possession, lahat ng kanyang nahuhukay na, na balon, na well, ay inaangki ng mga tao na doon. Three times na nangyari yan. Because, but because, Abe, because Isaac knew the covenant of blessing was working in him, and he was called by God to become a blessing, kahit yung mga tao sa paligid, hindi niya abuse siya. Amen? God knows how to reward him. Sabi nga sa Genesis chapter 26, verse 19 to 25, binigay niya. Yung lahat ng mga nahukay niya, amen, na balon sa mga taong nag-aangki. Grabe. Isaac knew the covenant. Kaya nga, God called you to be a channel of blessing to others. Kaya ngayon, God is calling us to live it today. Maging pagpapala tayo sa iba. Amen? And experience more blessing, more than you could imagine. Kaya bilang pangwakas, always remember, God's word and promises, His unfailing covenant will surely happen. Mangyayari ang kontrata yan eh. Dugo ni Jesus ang nag-approve at nag-ratify niya. I mean, kaya nga today, never, never allow your mind to think that you will live below. Amen? And you will die poor. Amen? It's right time. Amen? To claim what God has said. It's the right time to claim the covenant God has given you. Panahon na para yung kontrata. 
ng Diyos sa buhay mo, ang kinimong sa'yo because you are in Jesus. Kaya man, tandaan niyo po, ulitin ko, yung covenant ng Panginoon is not an ordinary covenant. It's not an ordinary contra. The blood of Jesus approve it. Amen? Ang nagpatupad niyan ay ang dugo ni Jesus Christ. It is precious because Jesus gave His life. Amen? Just for us to live a life of worthy of His honor in earth as it is in heaven. Kaya, today, I am challenging you. Do your best. Amen? Sa, sa pakikipagrelasyon nyo kay Jesus. And God will see that you will live a life to the fullest. Because God has prepared a covenant of blessing, a covenant of protection, a, a covenant to become a blessing to others, a channel of blessing. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, I came that you may have life and life in abundance. Kaya today, expect it. It's coming. It is coming right now. Amen. It's working in your life. And you are going to experience this in Jesus' name. Today, when you do this, I believe and declare. Amen. That this life, we will live in every promise that God has said in our life. Do you receive it? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Today, sabi ko sa inyo, may party tayo sa COVID. At ang party na yan is to make Jesus the Lord of your life and live with Him daily in His words. Okay, today, I will not end this broadcast without giving you an opportunity to accept Jesus. Kung di ba tinanggap si Jesus, sige, yumuko ka. Sabihin mo to na parang ikaw din nagpray. Sabihin mo, Lord Jesus, today, forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me from all my iniquities. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Fill me by your Spirit and be with me forever. I claim the covenant of blessing protection, being a channel of blessing flowing in me today. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen. If you have if you have followed the prayer, I believe that you got born again. Amen. Kaya magbasa ka ng Bible, magpray ka, Amen. Makita mo pala, marami pa pangako ng Diyos para sa buhay mo, Amen. And if you and attend uh, Bible-based church, katulad ng gawain, katulad ng ganito, Amen, where Jesus was proclaimed as Lord and Savior, Amen, is God, Amen. To God be the glory. Kung wala kayo natin ng church, just message us at tuturo namin sa inyo ang pinakamalapit na lugar na pwede nyo daluhan. Welcome na welcome po kayo sa aming church sa Prayer Free Church Worldwide Ministries. So let us pray, Father God in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to preach your gospel. Thank you for that unfailing covenant. And today, I declare in the name of Jesus, bless your people. Fill them with your glory that they may experience every single words in your word. And we pray, Lord God, that they will experience the covenant of blessing, the covenant of protection, and the covenant to become a blessing to others. Kaya, Lord, touch their life and bless them. And to those who are sick right now, from the top of your head to the top of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Sickness has no power over your body. We rebuke that pain in Jesus' name. And we claim that healing to flow, to come in your life. Be healed, receive it, it's yours, it's part of the covenant. Be healed, Jesus paid your, your healing. That sickness has no more power in you. Jesus took it on that cross and healed you in Jesus' name. Receive it, receive it, receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for being with us. I hope you'll be able to understand God's unfailing covenant ang napakagandang kontrata ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Hallelujah! God is good! Amen? So, mamaya may mga gawain pa tayo. Amen? There will be three online services pa and link will be posted later. Amen? At uh, mamaya ay patuloy nyo pong ishare ang ating video. If you're writing, watching right now in YouTube, please. Amen? Subscribe in our channel, Sigaw ng Tagumpay. Click the subscribe button and that notification bell para palagi kayong updated. And please share. And may maging pagpapala. Sabi nga natin eh, hindi man natin kayang sabihin. Pero when you share it, ay para mo na rin sinasabi sa kanila ang mensahe nito. Amen? If you're watching right now on Facebook, please like and follow our page, Sigaw ng Tagumpay, and our church page, Prayer of Faith Church Worldwide Ministries. Amen. Please share our video to our friends. Amen. And thank you for being with us. Kaya in behalf of Prayer Church Worldwide Ministries. Amen. With our 
uh, spiritual director, Bishop Ross M. Nesuelo, ating senior pastor, Reverend Dr. Alex Nesuelo. Ito po yung lingkod, Reverend Dr. Jane Nesuelo, Pastor Jane Short, with my wife, Elisa, and my daughter, Shaleb. Greeting you, a blessed day, and always remember this, amen, that we love you, Jesus loves you, and He is Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah.